So first of all, you need to think about what we already know about what we observe uh, when we look up in the sky. And the first thing is when we think about day. So when we think about what we can see in the day, we observe the sun rising in the east and it passing over the sky and then setting in the west. So what we see at night, what we see when we look at the sky is different. In the absence of the sun, we can see stars. These stars, some of them make up constellations uh, that we're familiar with and we can uh, look at various objects in the sky. Stars appear to move over the period of the night as well. And this is where you can get those time-lapse star trails and they appear to move over the months. One of the other objects that hopefully you're all familiar with in the night sky is the moon. And this also appears to move across our sky from east to west and it changes shape or appears to change shape depending on how much of the uh, sun's light is being reflected from the moon to us observing it on Earth. Another thing that we can observe in the night sky are the planets. Planets for a long time have been recognised as being different from stars and this is because their movement is different. They seem to move very, very slowly, night by night, against this background of fixed stars. The planets that we can see with the naked eye from Earth are Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. And generally they move from east to west, but sometimes they loop back on themselves. And this is what we call retrograde motion. So now we're going to look at why Mars has a movement like this, which can be different to other objects in the sky such as the moon, with its relatively straight path. So to think about these observations, we need to look at the models of the solar system. And before the 1600s, we had a geocentric model, which basically meant that Earth was considered to be the orbital centre of all the celestial bodies in the sky. And the evidence for this was the fact that the sun seems to go around us, the moon appears to go across the sky, as do all the stars. However, the thing that this doesn't fit with is the apparent motion of the planets across the sky. If we were the centre of the universe, then the planets would have to have this really bizarre orbit that was going around us, which simply doesn't fit. So in the mid-16th century, Copernicus published his theories on a heliocentric solar system. This is that we orbit the sun rather than everything orbiting around us. He wasn't the first by any means to have this idea. However, his theory was accompanied by lots of recorded observations and tables of data making predictions on planets' future positions based on their, um, their previous positions and this theory. He was also the first to really explain retrograde motion of the planets as an effect of our observations from Earth rather than their actual orbits. So we now have this uh, more modern model of the solar system with the sun at the center surrounded by each of the planets. So using this diagram we're going to see how the heliocentric model of the solar system explains the apparent retrograde motion of the planets. That is that the planets seem to move uh, from east to west and then sometimes will go back on themselves so appear to move west to east before looping back round again back to moving east to west. So on the left-hand side of the diagram, you can see two circles. The smaller circle represents Earth's orbit, and the larger circle represents Mars's orbit. And on the right-hand side, we can see these background stars, which is what Mars will appear to move against. So there's seven marks on Earth's orbit, showing Earth's position over half of its orbit, which would be a six-month period. On Mars's orbit as well, there's seven marks, which are the corresponding points to show Mars's position in its orbit over that six-month Earth months period. These straight lines are showing uh, how Mars appears from Earth against the background of stars. As Earth's orbit is smaller, um, therefore it's going to complete its orbit in a, a shorter amount of time, and at some point it overtakes Mars. This results in this looping type pattern as observed from Earth against this background of stars.